guys cheap here with another week's worth of just general reviews and seeing what is going on with these week-long deals that steam's rocking um if you're wondering the reason why i didn't end up doing the humble sale is because it's like it indicates that there's going to be a few new things every day and i just couldn't decide between oh that looks interesting uh, actually i think i own that you anyway, i couldn't decide between like doing a tiny video every day for the stuff that changed or just focusing on the big things and to be honest like all the really big things i thought were definitely worth looking at from my perspective and for the price i ended up tweeting about so if you follow my twitter that's an easy way to see what i think about the humble bundle or it's actually a humble bundle sale right now not an actual bundle bundle that's a confusing sentence <laughs> um anyways and that's why i didn't end up doing a video for that although i might it, i don't know it's i gotta kind of figure out how to do that one anyways fortunately doing them for steam's weekly deals is much easier so let's go through this list First of all, Zombilly is on sale. I have a, I want to say it's a one-shot episode about this. It might have been more than that. Um, basically, it's a puzzle game. I'm fairly certain it was originally a phone game, but I think it translates well. And your goal is to like collect all these little orbs and the hearts and stuff like that as they appear without running into your butt because you're a very, very hungry zombie caterpillar thing. And your butt keeps getting bigger, and if you run into it, game over, man. Alrighty, our next one is one I haven't actually played before. And I probably won't personally get it, but I did look at it and decided that it was a very interesting looking game. Like, I get migraines and I wear glasses to begin with, like my vision's not the best. So I feel like that game would just end up giving me a really bad headache. However, if you want a neat, futuristic-looking puzzler, I would totally go for that. In fact, I really wish I didn't get headaches from games like this, because I would totally play it. And maybe eventually I'll get it anyways and just kind of barrel through it, because it really looks fun. And I just... I don't know why it's got sports tagged on there, but... Oh, because it's a mini-golf. That's... That's an odd combination, mini golf and pinball. Although if you think about it with pinball, maybe you're like two flapper doodles or putters. Anyways, it looks really fun. Plus it's 49 cents. If you guys are wondering, yeah, I usually try to go through these by price. Uh, see no evil. This is a game I've heard a lot about now, when I first pulled this up and I saw a mixture of views, I was like, oh no, did they do an update that didn't go well? Um, that was mostly people saying, this game's kind of short. I don't think it should be the price it is. Um, and that has never been something to deter me. Because I've played, like, you guys saw the, or you guys will see today. I played a game that took me about... 10 minutes to finish and I happily would have paid for it. It was a really fun game. You know, there's a big difference between thinking that the price of a game should equal its length and just enjoying the game itself. I messed up that sentence, but how much is this? I think the price should reflect how good the game itself is combined with how long the game is. Case in point, um, I feel like Claire had the perfect price and length combination. I think this game, it's normally $5, so, you know, paying $5 for a game, I'm expecting it to not be the longest game in the world. I'm not expecting hundreds of hours in it, because that would be ridiculous, and that's not fair to the people that made it. Um... With that said, you know, I also don't want it to be a half hour game. I want it to be longer than that. But from the looks of it, it's much longer than that. So that's really up to you if you think it's not worth the original price. But considering it's 49 cents right now, even if it's only like a 10 minute game, which yet again, I don't think it is, 
Um, I think that price alone is definitely worth it for the game from the reviews and things like that that I've read. Also, I highly intend, like, to, this is on the list of things that I want to play for the channel. It's just a growing list, and I post, like, when you go through a whole game and you're, like, posting two videos a day, you don't get through everything quickly. <laughs> Plus, sometimes it's like, oh, you need to play this, and I'm like, all right, I'll go look at it. All right. This is another game I probably won't get because I'm not super huge into music games, but I still really appreciate the concept. Um, also, there's some first-person shooter games that are on sale that look interesting, but I don't play those and I can't give you like a fair review of them. Like I can't, I'm not a good judge for whether or not they're worth it. Uh, so basically, it's like a piano version of Guitar Hero from my guess. It's a general music rhythm game, which is what I mean by Guitar Hero. Um, yeah, the characters didn't look really interesting. I like the art style. You know, I like that they have it set up for your keyboard just the way you kind of have it set up. For, like, that right there behind him makes sense. If, like, it's not quite the stretch you would have for a keyboard, but I like that they found a way to take the keyboard and make it kind of work for a piano setting. So, if you're into music games, that might actually be worth looking into. Also, it's interesting that it's not saying it's on sale here, but it is when you look into the uh, listing. So I'm not sure if something specific with it is or not, but it's definitely in that list. So maybe wait a day and see if it fixes it. I've noticed that a few times with day one of the Steam sales for the week. It'll take a bit for everything to kick in. We want Hero of the Kingdom 1. So, this is a pretty interesting looking game. I might actually get it myself out of curiosity. Um, I guess you start off and you... I don't know how much actual combat's in it. I think it might be RPG in the way that you're gathering resources and building up and stuff like that. Like, I haven't seen pictures of combat in this game, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, you know, it, I'm not saying buy this game. I'm definitely saying look into it because it looks very interesting and I also intend to look into it. Um, you know, like the first thing I did was like sit down here and somebody said it was a four hour point and click adventure game. I was like, you have my attention. Um, you know, and all of the reviews I've seen of it so far look pretty positive. So, yet again, I haven't played this, so I can't speak from experience. But I do think it might be worth looking into. Alright, our next game, which I own this and I fully intend to play it for myself. I don't know if it'll make it onto the, t uh, the channel. Basically, it's, it's kind of a quirky puzzle game where, like, as you put things together, you make a picture. And it just... You ever look at a game where you're like, this is going to be really soothing to play. I'm going to have a day where, like, I'm half awake... And I just want to relax and enjoy myself. And I'm going to sit down with this game. If you guys want me to, I'll do a video of it. Because yet again, I already own a copy. Next is Morphine, which I'm a little bit curious about. Um, it says it's an FPS game. So, yet again, I'm not the best basis in the world for it. Also, I'm probably not going to actually play it. However... The concept and the artwork, artwork, artwork look a little interesting to me. Like I, I might look this up to see somebody else playing through it. Um, and it's got good reviews. So if you like games, like that's a weird combination of descriptions right there. Anyways, it's so quirky in description that I'm like, I need to know what this is. I would like to look into this. So I thought maybe you guys would like to look into it too, or maybe even play it since it's only 92 cents. I need to learn to write better because I read Door Scavenger on my list instead of Dark Scavenger. Alrighty, this is... It's either a very, very old school base game... Or that release date is, like, when they updated it. Um, 
this is a really weird game, which I happen to own, and it's just fun and really just, like look at that smile. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, this is one of those games that I picked up out of curiosity, and then like the way they do weapons and other items and combat and stuff like that. It's not your average thing, and it definitely feels much more point-and-click than RPG-ish to me. And it's kind of fun to see how you take point-and-click into combat. Also, is that guy wearing a hula skirt? Also, it's set in space, which... I love stuff in space. It's awesome. The artwork is really... Yet again, that smile. That's the smile that wins the masses over. I have no idea why I have a habit of hitting 9 when I type M. Um, but I do that a lot, so sorry for that minor delay. Anyways, I own this game, and I also really, really want to play this game. <laughs> I probably would have played this for Friday the 13th if I hadn't gotten Slay Away Camp suggested to me. Basically, you're a ghost trying to just off people and get rid of them, and just, this is my house. Get out of here. And it just, it sort of looks like if a regular game of The Sims was going on, and you're like, hey, do you really want to mess with them? Like, that's the sort of art style I'm getting. And I love games where it's like, oh, all right, so I need to get these people out of my house. Let's do this. I want to say I recorded something along that line. Lady, you don't have, you need like 50% more muscle in that region. All right. Anyhow, it looks like a super duper fun game. If you guys want me to play it, let me know. I intend to play it, I just haven't gotten around to it. I just, my list continuously grows. Anyways, but yeah, the idea of like throwing skeletons and stuff at people having to be like, ah! That's just, that sounds like a nice day to me. I am not 100% sure if this is the one on sale. I don't think it is. That's the one I meant to click. All right, so this is a visual novel which I don't normally play. However, the story looks really interesting. So if you're into visual novels, I might like if you like sci-fi and visual novels and stuff like that, I would totally like give this a look. The art style is really that character is adorable. Um, You know, of course, there are some actual options. It's not purely like you're just watching the story play out. And I, I'm really tempted to get this. I'm not sure if... Well, I wouldn't put it on the channel because it's normally 13 bucks. It's $1.29 now, so that's a great price for it. Um, yeah, it just... It looks really interesting, and I like the way that they draw the landscapes. It's only got 14 reviews... So, I, see, that's the thing where I'm like, mm, I'm not 100% sure because it's only got 14 reviews, but at the same time, it's $1.29, so if you get it, then like halfway through, you're like, eh, this is, was a pretty good story, but I lost interest or something like that, or you just take forever to get around to it like I do, you know, you still didn't spend too much. I definitely wouldn't pay $13 for it. I would totally pick it up for $1.29 just to look at it out of interest. There's enough there to have my attention. Thank you for having a really long name. I have been meaning to buy and play this game for ages. It's not on the best sale in the world. Um, it's only 30% off, and when you're starting at two bucks, that's not huge. At the same time, if you're just dying to play this game, you know, that might be enough for somebody. This is definitely a game to like watch as far as price goes. And I really hope there's a way to switch it over to English, in my opinion. Um as much as I love games made by Japan, I can't read Japanese and I like to know what I'm doing. Anywho, I don't know if there's an English translation. There's probably a mod somewhere. It's Steam. We have modders. Anywho, yeah, this is a game that, like, I've seen so much good stuff about it. I just, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, I should buy it this time and then I never do. So, 
if you guys want to keep an eye on that, it might be worth keeping an eye on. Also, if you find out that there is a mod for making it in English, please tell me. There probably is, and I can find out in two seconds, but I'm just... I'm so lazy when it comes to looking for mods. Anywho, moving on. Alright, I saw this game, and I almost immediately bought it. We're playing a firefighter, and it's an infinite running game, and we're saving the kitties. And, of course, trying to dodge fire, although in this video it shows the guy, like, tackling through fire, so that sounds amazing. But <laughs> it's... I like the art style. It looks very bouncy. There's cats, which makes me happy. Um, I, just, I don't know why, but, like, the concept of this, just, I really want to play it. I'm awful at runner games. I'm sure you guys have seen evidence of that. At the same time, it's like, I want to save the kitties. I gotta save him from the fight. Like, he's got some pretty neat skills over there, too. Like a really hardcore firefighter. Of course, they always are. Hey, guys, remember that game that was the very first game that I played on the channel? Also known as Always and Times Monsters. It's on sale for only like $2. Also, the soundtrack edition is on sale, and I wish I had known that there was a soundtrack edition. When I bought it originally, because I totally would have gotten that. Alas, I am soundtrackless. Um, your decisions, you know, change how this game. Oh, geez, that poor pig. But your choices and the things that you do are going to affect your game. Your game will not be exactly like mine. Uh, there may be parts of it that are similar, like that part right there, but it, it's definitely not going to be exactly the same is mine like the whole way through because that's how they designed the game they're just like let's do this although apparently we always make out with a space nerd by a fire although in all honesty why wouldn't she make out with a space nerd by the fire just not do it go do the thing hi vega one dog light eat is on sale but not necessarily for the best price I've ever seen. you want it Really? I typed it in right, and you're not gonna... Okay, we're gonna fight. Steam is clearly in a mood. There's lights on sale! Yet again, not the best sale in the world. If you saw us... Like, if you haven't seen it at all, I've played through it, so feel free to go look at my playthrough. You get three games in one, so really, at the original price, you're paying a dollar per game. And I think that's more than fair for the amount that's in each game. Plus, like, solving the puzzles and stuff like that are really exciting. There's a good story, and I want to know more about that world. Uh, with that said, 30% off, not really the best sale when you're starting at $2.99. However, that's another game that might be worth keeping an eye on, because every now and then I do see it go on sale for about that or less. She's so just... Err. Um, I'm sorry, she's just in max pout mood constantly, and I'm just like, you're adorable. Speaking of another game that I own and really want to play for the channel, uh, but isn't necessarily at the best discount. I didn't want to say that before I double checked that. Um, One Way Heroics is a very, very strange game. Um... I don't know how to explain this game. So, it's an RPG game. Eventually you get to a point where it's like, well, today I die. Um, I want to say you can build up over time. It's one of those games that I picked up with other games, and I was like, what is this? And I was like, oh, this has my attention. Um, I'm trying to do a better description of it that I'm doing, but unfortunately a lot of RPG games just come down to hey, let's go save the land, there's a demon lord and we gotta fight and stuff like that. The fact that it's roguelike, like if you die, it's alright, round two. Um, it's, I, that's something that I don't often see. Um, but yeah, it's there's a lot of stuff going on. I feel like their description does better than mine is because I'm trying not to say stuff that they have. 
But yeah, you can unlock things and things like that and continue on and just go through no it I almost want to say it's like an RPG version of Binding of Isaac. It's like we are going to keep going through this until eventually I defeat it. And then I'm probably going to try to beat it again because that was really fun. It's definitely about the journey, not about, hey, I finally beat this game. At least in my opinion. Oh, was that the end of that list? That was the end of the list. Or at least that page. I love this game. I've never mentioned it on the channel at all. I might have once or twice. Um, <laughs> I tried to find a good way to describe this game. Okay, so... We're... The, uh, like, we're the owner. Um of an apartment thing. We can put new stuff in the apartment. We can eventually build up after we like get far enough in it. You know, people can fall in love with their neighbors or just have somebody come over now and then. You can charge them different amounts which gives you different stuff to like upgrade. Eventually you can unlock it's less unlock and more of attract people in the same line. Um because certain things attract different types of monsters and other things just straight up unlock them. Sometimes you have to do quests. And yeah, all of your tenants are monsters and stuff like that. I think your character is like technically supposed to be the devil, but whatevs. And every time you guys get invaded or if you pick a quest from the board saying, hey, take these people on, it goes tower defense mode and you can like, like my favorite thing to do is trap like a group of people between like two essential walls of just tanky goodness. Like, say, there was somebody right here. Stay on this page for me. If there's a human right here, I would pop out these two people that were, like, melee, and then pop out these two guys that were ranged. <laughs> and she's like, yay, have a nice day. You're completely screwed. I am not the best in the world of the game, but I have gotten pretty far in it, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> okay. Last game I'm going to mention, which also has the word last in it. Really? You're not going to pop it up? This is how underappreciated this game is. Last Federation and all of the stuff that goes with it are currently on sale. Um, normally I don't quote quite this high in price when I do these lists, but the Last Federation's a really, really good game. Um, in all fairness, Total Biscuits videos do a much better job of explaining it than I do. Basically... You're the last of a race because your race got too OP and everybody's like, yeah, no, stop that. And you just happened to survive, but like you were a slave for a long time. And then finally, the race that kind of had you captured gets to where they're spacefaring and you're like, yeah, that's all mine, suckers. You grab it, you bounce. Now, of course, the people that had you are rightfully pissed that you kind of like stole their stuff and took off. How dare you? So you got to like start making allies and... There's a few ways to do it, and all the different races, like, want different things, and some of them are, like, really violent, so they're just like, yeah, let's go kill everybody else, we're good. Um, some are super peaceful, and they're like, no, we shouldn't fight. Uh, making alliances with people will normally get them to help you with other people, case in point, the people that are really mad at you for jacking their stuff are immediately like, hey... We're gonna, we're gonna go shoot lasers at you until you stop existing. But if you immediately make a friend and you're like, hey, here, have some spacefaring technology, they're like, oh, are, are those jerks over there giving you problems, buddy? Well, I'll get right on that right away. Anyways, so you can either unify or destroy everyone or unify some and just go, you know what, you guys are jerks, get out of here. And I just, first of all, the artwork's really interesting. Uh, the way of doing combat is super duper interesting to me because basically you sort of pick like a general direction that you're going to fly in um and you can click the things that you want to target on and switch out your different like do you want more shields do you want to drop shields completely and just go full you know pew 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 yes i said that instead of weapons um anyway but like you get to make those decisions like each turn like that right there just ended. They made some choices, and then it goes again. Everything stops. Then you gotta decide again based on what's going on then, which I think is really nice. You're not locked in. You can go, oh, that didn't work at all. Time to literally 
just get the heck out of here. I'm going to go fly in this corner until you leave me alone. Anyways. So, yeah, it's a super duper awesome game. I don't think it gets played nearly enough. That's a really good price for it, not gonna lie. And you can get the whole shebang for only a tiny bit more than that. And to be honest, I would. I would get all the DLC with this game if you go ahead and buy it. Mostly because it's only a slight price increase, but if you look at the normal prices, like 20 bucks versus 25 bucks, if you're only paying like it's a dollar twenty instead of spending five dollars. Like, why wouldn't you get the whole shebang? Oh, so I'm gonna say shebang as often as I can. It's just, it's one of those games that's so good that I don't understand why you wouldn't want everything involved in it. Anyways, so that's been the list for the week. I hope you guys found stuff that you're interested in. If you think there's something on the sale that I should have covered or that I just didn't cover because it's not something I'm interested in, but you guys are interested in. By all means, please leave a comment. That way, you know, anybody else that watches this video can see that, hey, that's also in sale. And if I've said anything wrong in the description of these games or you think I didn't do something justice, please correct me. I totally get it because, like everybody else, I'm not perfect. Anyways, bye!